Hello friends. So this is part 2 of MongoDB with C# Sharp beginner's tutorial. So if you have not viewed the first video, please check the first video. So this is the continuation of the first video. Now in this video we are going to check how we can do bulk operations so basically what i have done is i have created a csv file so i'll just open it in notepad yes so here you can see uh, this is a csv file and uh, here i have given a product name then comma product code then the price comma price so if you need to view it in excel this is easy to understand so this is how i have created the csv file now let's check how we can insert bulk data update or delete bulk data okay so let's open visual studio so in the form i have created three new buttons bulk insert bulk update and bulk delete now let's check each first i am moving to bulk insert so i have given some code here to fetch the data from the csv file okay so automatically it will convert here to a list of product so for that first i have given the command to fetch uh, uh, the fetch the data from the file file dot read lines then uh, so this will be a list of string each line will be a string so as i am i have given to list it will be converted to a list so if i have not given to list it will be an array actually so now i have converted it to a list and the uh, each string or each lines then i'm converting into product model object okay so the application will read the line read all the lines then from each line it will read product name product code and price so price is a decimal element so we have to convert string to decimal so that is why i have given decimal dot parse now we have got a list of products now we need to insert the list of products or multiple products to mongodb so for that it is very simple product collection dot insert many so here we can give the products so now this function will insert all the products to mongodb database so once it is inserted we need to load the data grid view here in our application to refresh it so again we have to use this load product data we have to use that method to update the data grid view now let's check whether it is working so the application is running now so now there is only one record i am clicking on bulk insert so for bulk insert we have given this code to fetch the data and insert it now i am clicking bulk insert yes now you can see all the new data so the new data is starting from product 1001 and to product 1020 so all the data has been inserted and the price everything has been inserted and the product id has is auto generated value so automatically mongodb will generate a unique value for product id okay now we are moving to bulk update so for example let me check the values okay 
So for example, we need to update all the products with price greater than or equal to 50 to some other value. So that is the operation what we are going to do. That is the process what we are going to do. Now let me take bulk update click method. So here first we need to declare a filter definition. So filter definition is equal to builders of product dot filter dot greater than or equal to a such that a dot price. So the price should be greater than or equal to 50. Sorry, 50. Okay. Now we are going to the update definition. So for update definition is equal to builders of product dot update and here we just need to set or update the price field so here we are just giving price uh, so we need to update to some 300 okay now product collection dot update many so before we have used update one why because here we are filtering with product code and the product code and we are considering the product code as a unique value so each product uh, a product code will be only as uh, a single product code will be only assigned to a product so it cannot be assigned to multiple products okay but in this case there might there may be multiple products which is having more than price 50 we already have those kind of products in our database so here we have to provide update mini and uh, the filter definition which we have created here then the update definition okay we are updating the price to 300 so now once it is updated again we need to refresh the data so I am giving the same command here or say I am calling the same method here now let's check how it works yeah so you can see all the values here now I am clicking on bulk update yes it got executed now you can see after 40 all the products with price 50 and above got updated with a new value 300 so this is how bulk operations can be done now in the same way we can give bulk delete so here what we are doing is we are just copying this filter definition so we just need to delete okay here we just need to delete um, the price which is equal to 300 we, can, we have to delete the products which is having a price equal to 300 not greater than or equal to here we have used GTE that is greater than or equal to but here we are using EQ that means equal to okay now product collection dot delete mini and we only need to provide the filter definition then once it is deleted again we have to call this method for refreshing the data yeah now we are running it so you can see now there are so many products with the value 300 in price field now I'm clicking on bulk delete yes all the products with 300 as price has been deleted okay now in last video I forgot to show Robo 3T which I have already mentioned in the previous video so Robo 3T is a user graphical user interface which we can use for managing the database so I will just show you this Robo 3T application yes so this is 
robo 3d application so here this is the database what we have mongodb sample so in our application config file in our connection string we are using mongodb sample this is the database so inside collection we can see the collection named product so if i am right clicking on the collection i can see multiple options here view documents means we can view the data so for each data we, uh, in mongodb we, we say it as documents in a normal no, a sql database we, we we will say it as a row so here it is documents now insert doc, uh, we have other options like insert document update document remove document so many options rename collection and so many things so now i'm viewing the documents so here you can see there are only four documents rest all things we have deleted so there are multiple options in robo 3d if we need to see it in a tabular view we can just change the view here so now we can see the product code product name and price so as i mentioned in the previous video in our model class here we have given some value for the bison element attribute so you can see product code in our application the object element name is uh, sorry it is product code p and c capital but in database the field name has been given like this product underscore code so you can see now here the field name is same as we have mentioned in the bison element attribute price product name everything has been created now another biggest advantage of mongodb database i will just show you for example i am just deleting this database so we have an option drop database here okay now the database is deleted okay now if i'm uh, refreshing the value it shows a fetched zero records okay so if i'm refreshing you can see there is no database named the mongodb sample inside our database now i am running the application <coughs> and i'm just adding one product one zero one and product name is product one zero one and the price is 10 i'm just clicking on insert so you can see it got inserted now the application is reading from the database now if i am coming here and just refreshing now i can see the database has been created automatically so here in mongodb we don't need even to create the database automatically the when a query works or when we are calling the methods automatically the application the database will get created and inside the database automatically the collection will get created we don't need to create this collection manually so here when we are checking the data now we can see there is only one record and here we can see the values so this is how we can use or we can update delete or insert bulk uh, yeah we can do insert many sorry bulk insert bulk update or bulk delete for that we have to use insert many update many and delete many instead of the previous commands like insert one update one and delete one so hope you all got the idea of uh, bulk operations so we will be continuing a more advanced thing in the later videos so thank you that's it for this video please subscribe and like the video thank you all